much can you fit into a super cup? It's the question every time we leave. <laughs> Just set the tent up in the rain. That's always fun. Got the airplane backed into its hole. So got a tire down, but yeah. Quack. <laughs> Wee bit wet out here. Sitting in the rain. Got some of mom's ram stew she made last night for dinner. So we'll be eating ram. Hunting ram. Hopefully. Well, we just finished late breakfast. Because it's been blowing and raining all morning. However, it quit raining. And it's just blowing now. So, we're going to make a run for it. You take them off? Nope. Yes. All right. Fun, fun. Awesome creeks. Typically don't do a lot of this. Occasionally we have to. So, take the boots off, barefooted. And yes, this water is a little bit on the chilly part. Spot this white rock back down the valley a ways. I go, Dad, is that a sheep? Nah, it's a rock. Nah, it's a rock. We finally stopped long enough for me to get a spot on him. It's definitely a ram. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. Right there in the center of the screen. We keep making our way up that way. One grizzly bear and one. Half curl ramp so far. <laughs> Working on a siesta. See them now. Right in that cloud, there's two rams just walked over the ridge on us. 754. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, there's a sheep right here. No, it's a rock. I was looking at it. <laughs> Shut up. If that ram keeps moving over to the left, he's going to get into the death zone eventually. He's going to come right down that green p patch, but I don't know what happens when he hits the bottom. If he starts going back up. I think they hang out of the edge of the fog. Okay, so unlike most sheep hunters, I abandoned freeze-dried food many years ago. And my reasoning was always that High energy, good quality food outweighed the freeze dried crap. And if I had to carry 85 pounds of sheep out, I could carry 25 pounds of food in, including these nice ribeye steaks, the mashed potatoes, and the gravy that Thomas is making at the moment. All the while, we're watching two mature rams out the tent window that are <laughs> 780 yards away from us. So, we're not sure that either of these rams is what we're looking for, but we are sure these ribeyes are gonna be keen no matter what. Real Alaska tent hunter. Is he turning his head at all? Yeah. 
foggy enough, I really can't get a good rate definition, but he's absolutely positively legal and absolutely positively like a curl and a quarter on this on Cranked. side. Yeah, Cranked. <clears throat> Can you see that lamb tip that's pointing towards us, or are you looking no, at the other one? Oh. The ram tortoise, the, the horn that was closest to us, because he's facing that way, his right-hand horn is the one I was just looking at. Oh. And his left hand, I couldn't see. Very so I was, I had a better view at the left hand, but it almost looked like it was broomed. But it's hard, I was shaking too, it's kind of hard to tell. Oh boy. Oh, no, I'm not taking a run through that bottom. So what do you guess this ram is then, if you're such an expert sheep judge? If you would turn his head, I could tell you. Well, I would say he's 38 right now. All right. But if he'd turn his head, then I'd tell you a lot better. He hasn't turned his head yet. Well, what do you think his right horn is? He doesn't need to turn his head for that. No, I can't see his lamp tip. I don't know where it stops because it goes into his It goes clear up into his horn, yeah. From the end <coughs> we're at, yeah, we're at, it's looking up from the bottom. Yeah. That's how you make, that's how these guys make Alaska Range sheep that aren't legal look legal as they take a picture from the bottom. <laughs> well, I've seen enough legal sheep to know that this one's legal. <laughs> well, yeah, it's legal. And it's big. And it's fun. 6 a.m. About five minutes ago, we just watched the ram. The second ram, I think, go right out that shoe back where they came from. So now we're throwing our gear together right quick and Running after him. So this is little Ram staring back and looking at his buddy who's over this edge and likely dead or dying. Wolverine. Where? To the left, right over here. Right Not here. close. Right here, right here. Oh shit, yeah, that's cool. Look at him hauling ass. He's coming right to us too. Oh no, he's looking at that ram. We're gonna have to fight him for this ram, I think. <laughs> it's kind of blurry, I don't know if you guys can see him up there, but... 60 years old. It's pretty special to still be able to share the mountains with my old man. <laughs> and he actually out hiked me yesterday. I'm in way worse shape than he is. <laughs> Not today though. Here's Thomas working his way down to the sheep. Pretty nice shooting for that 420 yard range. Well, maybe you're right. Yeah, get down there and take a look at that puppy. Wonder where our Wolverine buddy is at. Maybe. It's a pretty good one there. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's a toad. That's a toad. Wow. Yeah, that's a good sheep. That is a good sheep. Really nice. Eight, nine, yeah, ten year old ram. Well, it meets our criteria. Ten years old and right at the 40 inch mark, I guess. We'll have to measure him. I think he's 39. <laughs> Look at that horn. I mean, this horn is this horn is a quarter inch shorter than this one, I would guess. So Thomas, age 28, shot his first sheep 14 years ago on the same mountain. And uh, me being at age 60, don't know how many more of these mountains I got left in me. <laughs> how many dead sheep have you been on, you think? Oh, Lord. All sheep only. I've killed 38, and I know I've taken 17 other people hunting, and I think Webb's killed about six while I was with him. So you've killed six, five or six. I think it's a six, six or seven. <clears throat> so a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Close to Six, 70? 60 or 70 sheep <laughs> at least. Probably 70. 70 doll sheep. Yeah. What a beautiful cape. Yeah, this is what I was seeing. See all this orange crap on their hips? Uh huh. Both of those rams had it. They've been bedding in the same stuff. I wonder if it's mineral or something. How's the weather? Ram sure is. There's a Barney's pack. A 38 inch, 10 year old ram in it. It's pretty special to hunt the same set of mountains for so many years in a row. I'm pretty blessed to still be able to hunt with my dad at his age. DIY sheep hunts are pretty tough and most of the time you see his pictures on social media of older guys sheep hunting and it's because the guides kind of marching them up the hill. They're not carrying a spike camp and half a sheep on their back like my old man is here. Normally I kind of get sucked into my own mind on the pack back and think about family or what's going on at home or have some silly songs stuck in my head but this time I really was thinking more about how many more trips I'm going to be able to follow my dad like this. I've been following him around the woods for 25 years right on his heels and I know that he probably doesn't have another 25 years to keep on doing it so I'm just trying to soak in every second that I have. Well, what do you think about the last grind up? Glad it's the last grind, but it's a grind, huh? Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time here on Backcountry. Alaska. Oh yeah, home sweet home. But it's a beautiful spot. I've stood on this knob damn near all my life. Ukraine's finally flying. Man, last night it was a non-stop for... Oh, there's a grouse. Right there.
Yeah, it just flew across the runway. <laughs> point. <laughs> On point. It's a spruce in, but still, it's a grouse. Hmm. Ribeyes, mashed potatoes, and hot cocoa. Oh boy. and bacon and coffee for breakfast. Ah, all while trying to spot a moose on the end of the runway. about to see here is what happens when you get just a little bit too aggressive with a bull that you haven't totally fooled yet. This guy either didn't like the looks of us or thought he was going to get his butt kicked, one of the two.
Boom. Wop. <laughs> Damn it, almost with the bow. Where'd you find that? <laughs> <laughs> but there's the runway. <laughs> Man, he just, he knew what was up when... Nice. Oh, God, he's big. He's a big one. No, I'm talking about his body. <laughs> Packing this, we're packing this dude tomorrow. We're about forty percent of the way. Sun's going down. No hang your shit. Ouch. That hurt. <laughs> you alright? Team six. Okay, here's my cam. We wanna What you didn't get to see was about four or five hours of flying around and looking for the caribou. But you can see in the next scene, we definitely picked the right gravel bar to land on as the caribou walked right onto it as soon as we finished setting up camp. dinner dad mm, pork ribs pork ribs barbecued pork ribs pre-cooked and just heating them up mashed taters gravy gonna be fit for a king <laughs>
can see where it went. You missed below. You know, the rifle's in the tent. You want the rifle? <laughs> oh. Unless it was a big one. I'll have to look. This is what happens when you go too far from the tent, caribou hunting. They end up right back on your gravel bar where the tent's at. <laughs> We're half a mile down the river chasing little herds. That's what happens. So now we're back on the march to the tent where by the time we get there, they're gonna be swimming. Oh boy. Passing right in front of the airplane, going right to the tent. <laughs> yeah, it was a good one. Exercise. Good exercise, he says. Oops. <clears throat> I knew he should have sat there. This happens every time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Grab a gun and shoot one. Be done with get the monkey off the back. <laughs> Why did we go for this walk this morning? <laughs> Don't know. Sorry for the poor footage on this shot. It's just kind of tough to film yourself on a tripod and try to range and shoot all at the same time. Bull was 51 inches wide, beam to beam. From the tent. It may be in the low range. I don't know that I can draw on some of this tent. At this point, I'm laying on ground outside of the tent and my dad is inside the tent. Fifty-six, fifty-five. Smoked him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I had to pull the bow inside the tent so I could draw it. Because <laughs> it wouldn't draw in the window. Oh my god. Double bull blinds are bullshit. You just, <laughs> just need the North Face tent. Oh man, this is fun. Okay, now we got two caribou to skin. <laughs> well, one, only one to pack, though. Yeah. <laughs> that one's sitting on the runway. <laughs> wow. I don't think, you might not ever do that again, Dad. I seriously doubt that will ever happen <laughs> again. <laughs> well, let's go take a look at this bowl. <laughs> wow. Uh... <laughs> 55 yards, exactly, right from inside the tent. <laughs> I had to tuck the arrow, the bow into the tent to be able to draw the bow. <laughs> Look at that. That's a nice bow. Look at that shovel. I like that single shovel. Yeah, you actually got a two. <laughs> yeah, sweet though. Another awesome critter with my old man. This is one of those moments in the woods that you just don't normally get the opportunity to experience them. Watching caribou not freaked out in this closer range just doesn't happen for most people. And you're gonna see some crazy good bulls in this group. And it was just really cool to watch them. this episode of Backcountry Alaska. Please like and subscribe for more. It's a pile of shit. Oh boy. When you see deer around, that's a good sign that there's deer around.
ribeyes, stuffing, and gravy, and hot tang. Oh yeah. I think you got him. <laughs> you want to shoot the doe? <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I saw him roll down the hill just now. There goes the doe, huh? No, it's not. She's just going, where, where the hell did you go, George? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was a good shot, Dad. Nice little meat feeder. Yep. Trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Trophy freezer deer. Jake will love them. Sweet. Maybe his fork you ever saw. I saw one buck that you shot that was smaller fork than that. No, no, maybe that's about the same. <sighs> Trophy meat deer. Kodiak Island has the nickname The Rock. You can see where it gets it from these rugged coastal mountains. What do you think? Just beach walking. Just beach? A walk on the beach. Beautiful. Right, so I'm gonna ride with this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got this boat that's been following us. That is just beautiful. tonight dad <laughs> our signature meal ribeyes <laughs> <laughs> ribeyes taters today no gravy i think we're just gonna have a bunch of taters tracks from last night and those weren't there. They're going the opposite way though, eh? They're going the way we're going. <laughs> aren't those the claws behind it? No, those are the points in the front. Right there. Yeah, that's the oh, point. Oh, I guess that is the point. <clears throat> 
looks like they were running the other way for a sec, but I guess not. It's hard to tell, but this is absolutely vertical. On your hands and knees, four wheel drive only. Only pack you need for Alaska. Right? Absolutely. The best pack made for what we do. All these <laughs> other ones are uh, not made to haul stuff. <laughs> <laughs> not made to haul really heavy loads. Plain and simple. What'd you say? Oh, really? Where at? Right, right where the creek, the creek is leaving going the lake. The lake. Yep. You see, he's walking just to the right of it. Oh, shit. Yeah. A couple of them. Yeah, there's two there, right? Three there. Three? Yeah. Salad two, two cubs. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see that, but that's the first goat of the trip. <clears throat> and where he's sitting, he can stay there. <laughs> see the shadow behind his back and everything? It's one little goat sitting in one little goaty spot. So... We're way up the mountain above where all the beavers live. And although we're filling our water jugs, we'll probably still boil this stuff because the deer can pack beaver fever as well. And they're running all over this country. Tiny shot. Nice deer. Snickers bars and cans of fruit are go to mountain lunches. Well, we kind of screwed up and made an attempt at climbing this mountain to get to where we had seen some goats. It's really just not a good idea to be climbing stuff this steep in the snow, especially without climbing rope. That's one thing that you should bring and know how to use if you're going to try to attempt to hunt goats in Kodiak. After all that, I'm trying to get up and down this bastard. They poke their head back out. <laughs> Climbing back down from the point in which we decided to turn around was actually quite dangerous. It's never worth hurting yourself or any sort of animal. <laughs> Stuffing and pork ribs for dinner tonight. And hot tank. <clears throat> If 
you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more. And we'll see you next time on Backcountry Alaska.